For man, seeing space soon turned into wanting to be there, to experience it firsthand. And it's our closest neighbor, the moon, which has done the most to compel man to leave Earth and explore beyond. The moon is dominant in our night sky. Since primeval times, the moon has drawn man with an irresistible lure. Every time we tried to get close to it, the Earth would pull us back. Like some possessive and jealous mother, she would not let us go. To achieve our dream, we discovered we would have to first overcome the greatest force in our universe, gravity. Every living being on Earth had felt it from the beginning of time. Many people had played with gravity. Many had fallen victim to it. But it was Isaac Newton who began the first serious scientific study of gravity in England in the 17th century. He pondered whether the same force which attracted objects to the ground also held the moon in orbit around the Earth. His idea of gravity, and he called it universal gravity because that is a very important thing, is that every single piece of matter in the universe pulls every other piece of matter in the universe towards it and vice versa. Knowing the nature and strength of gravity was crucial to overcoming it. But doing that would still require tremendous courage and huge technological advances. Mankind's first giant leap was made with hot air in balloons. Tied to balloons, man could leave the ground. He went higher and higher. In 1960, a balloon carrying US Air Force Captain Joe Kittinger ascended to the edge of space, some 100,000 feet off the ground. Kittinger was investigating escape at high altitude. I could see the clouds below and the atmosphere, the, the haze layer. It was, a, it was a, a very profound feeling that I had, uh, and, and the realization of really just how hostile that environment is. And it's only 20 miles above our Earth. When Kittinger got there, he looked down at the ground and jumped. I had really no sensation of falling because I had no, uh, no visual reference on anything. So I, I thought I was really suspended in space. Five years earlier, a man had shown he could run a mile in four minutes. Now, in four minutes, Kittinger reached the speed of sound. His fall shattered our preconceptions about man's ability to survive at great speed. With that knowledge, we could plot our journey to the moon. Thank <laughs> you.